Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devi, friends, and I welcome you back to my video. So, in this video, friends, I will be discussing with you the Mountbatten Plan, which is also famously known as the Indian Independence Act of 1947, friends. So, this is presented by me. If you want to follow me, friends, the link of my Instagram is given in the description box below. Also, friends, this video is in English. So, if you want to watch the Hindi version of the video. Its link is also given in the description box below, friends. So let's see what this Mountbatten Act is. Just before this Mountbatten plan was produced, one plan named as Dicky Bird plan was produced. It was presented in nine, May 1947. And in this Dicky Bird plan, Lord Mountbatten said that all the provinces of India should be declared independent. And after these provinces are declared independent, these provinces will be free to choose any unit they wanted to join. That is what, that at that point of time, it was being said that India and Pakistan would be formed. So, Mount Button suggested that all the provinces should be declared independent. And after that, they will be free to join either India or Pakistan. And if they didn't want to join any of them, they can remain free. As soon as this plan was put in front of Jawaharlal Nehru, he immediately rejected this plan. Actually, this plan was kept informally in front of Jawaharlal Nehru. This plan was not discussed by other leaders. Only Jawaharlal Nehru, some other leaders were discussing this plan. He immediately rejected it, calling it a Balkan plan because it would lead to the Balkanization of India. Balkanization means that the complete Indian geographical entity, which is today one country, and actually the whole Indian subcontinent was India and Pakistan. But this India would have many countries today if this Balkan plan would have been implemented. That is, if from Calcutta, if you want to go to Bombay, then you would have to take a visa because then they would be separate countries. So Nehru immediately rejected this plan because this plan said that provinces like Madras, United Provinces, Bengal, Bombay, Punjab, North Western Frontier Province, you know, yeah, this uh, UPA, that is United Provinces of that time, all should be made independent. Now, if you are going to declare them independent, their rulers will think that now I am the sovereign ruler. So, why should I join some other province? So, obviously, they will become a separate country. So, immediately Nehruji rejected this plan. And this plan was also not have liked by Muslim League friends. Because Muslim League also wanted a united Pakistan. So, then... Finally, a Mount Battle plan came on 3rd of June, which is known as the Indian Independence Act of 1947. It received the signatures of the Emperor of Britain, the British Monarch, on 18th of July 1947. And this was accepted by both the Indian National Congress and the Party Muslim League. It was also known as a Partition Plan or the Indian Independence Act of 1947, in which assent was given to divide the country into India and Pakistan. Now, the point comes... That why the leaders of the Indian National Congress agreed on dividing India. This was the biggest question. So the biggest reason of that was that there were blood rights going all over the country, friends. And till now, it has become impossible to stop all of them. People were thirsty for each other's blood on the basis of religions. Hindu and Sikhs formed one side. Muslims formed the other side. And they were cutting each other. Literally, they were cutting each other to few pieces. Women were being raped every day. Even children were being killed, friends. Girls were being raped. They were being maimed. Old persons, old women. No one was spared, friends. So, this thing was happening all over the country. And had this thing been happening at one particular pace, then the Indian National Congress leaders would have tried to stop that thing from happening there. But actually, it was happening everywhere. So, it was became almost impossible to stop it. So, Indian National Congress accepted partition as a panacea solution to the problems that were going on. So let's have a look at the provisions of Mount Button Plan. The very first provision that India will be divided into India and Pakistan. Now it was said that constituent assembly will be made for India and all those areas which will now not be part of India and will be part of Pakistan, that is the Muslim majority area, whether they will have a constituent assembly or not, will be divided by the leaders of the Muslim League. If they will have a constituent assembly, that will be separate. Okay, friends. Also, it was said to the Bengal province and Punjab province. Now, Bengal province and Punjab province has majority of Muslim populations. But still, they have considerable amount of other religions also. For example, in Punjab, six were six also formed a considerable uh, proportion of the population. Hindus were also there, but majority was a Muslim. So it was said that according to the religious population distribution, Bengal and Punjab will be partitioned. So Bengal and Punjab were partitioned. 
and obviously tell this side that Ladcliffe will be appointed to you know partition uh, to draw the partition boundaries. Also, it was said that a referendum will be uh, taken place in northwestern frontier province and Silhit district of Assam. Okay, now when the referendum took place in northwestern frontier province, friends, the result was that it will be acceded to Pakistan. Now, when NWFP referendum result uh, came in favor of Pakistan, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan uh, was not ready to go inside Pakistan. He said that Indian National Congress is throwing us into the hands of these wolves. Actually, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was a big disciple of Gandhi ji. He was a supporter of non-violence movement. He didn't want it to partition the country on a religious line. He wanted India to be united, a secular India. But that was not possible, friends. And due to its geographical proximity, the present-day Baluchistan province, that is the whole NWFP, it forms more than 40% of the geographical area of Pakistan. And even if the referendum would have came in favor of India, it would have been very difficult to join that in India, friends, because it's geographical and inconvenience. It is actually with the boundary of Iran. And between NWFP and India comes Pakistan. So there is no direct boundary contact between NWFP and India. So obviously make, making it into India, merging it into India would have been very possible even if the referendum result was in favor of India. However, the referendum result was in favor of Pakistan. So NWFP went to Pakistan. Also the Sindh provision, province, it decided itself to merge itself in Pakistan. As I've already told you, Bengal and Punjab were partitioned along religious line and in order to uh, you know decide the boundary two commissions were appointed under sir cyril radcliffe this question regarding cyril radcliffe have already been asked in upsc exam before okay so cyril radcliffe committee was appointed to decide the boundary especially the international boundaries in the region of punjab and bengal because these were the provinces that were being partitioned also friends in addition to form india and pakistan what the britishers did in dicky bird plan they also did here they said that other provinces they are either free to join india or pakistan or even they are free to become independent so many provinces tried to become independent for example jammu and kashmir raja hari singh said that we don't want to go either in india or pakistan but actually its its location was something like that that pakistan army assisted by azad kashmir forces they attacked kashmir and when they got inside kashmir the kashmir acceded to india so indian forces also came and where the forces stopped ceasefire became and that is the international boundary today the real boundary however pakistan claims complete kashmir as its own india claims complete kashmir as its own however the ground level situation is a little bit different also hyderabad province said that we don't want to come inside india police action was there and hyderabad was included inside india also it was said according to mind button plans that new constitutions were made for both india and pakistan and until and unless these new constitutions will break governor general that is lord bound button will act only as a constitutional head with no particular power also in the british monarch titles emperor of india was dropped and on the midnight of 15th of August 1947, India and Pakistan came into existence, friend. Lord Bottom, Mountbatten was appointed as the first Governor General of Independent India. And M. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, as expected, was the first Governor General of Independent Pakistan, friends. Okay. So, this was complete details about Mountbatten plan, friends. I hope you liked this video. If you really liked it, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, friends. And please refer this video, share these videos more and more with your friends. So, thank you, friends. Goodbye.